a serious dose of reality. Magi, the Labyrinth of Magic, chapter 211. Snake eyes, y'all. Yo, first and foremost, I'd like to say that I apologize uh, for this review being a tad bit late. But hey, when you work, when you're into a lot of things such as I am, and when you have a social life, some things get pushed back on the back burner, you know, whether you want them to or not. But it is what it is. We're here now. We're going to talk about this chapter. Yo. Finally. Let me, let me. If you have kept up with my, with my Magi reviews, you know that I've been waiting for so long. To get talk about the Thanos clan, I've been wondering what's on the on the other side of Great Rift, and it's about damn time. It is that time. Thank you, old talker. I've been feeding. I've been dying to find out. And yeah, Moo Alexis putting in, giving us what we needed as readers. Cause I, I'm telling you, out of all, you know, there's the Magi, there are the uh, the kings, you know, the kings candidates, the magicians, but I the humans. Forget everybody. The Fainalist clan. The Fainalist clan. Let me tell you, do y'all realize what these people are? Before even getting into this chapter, do y'all realize the greatness of these people? Do y'all realize the control savagery? Do you realize the, the, the superhuman abilities of these characters? Like, yo, I love, man, in a mind don't stop war, you had a group of Fainalists just wrecking whole, whole legion easily. What was it about 15, 20 families versus about a thousand or more uh, magicians? Point there, mad wolf. I mean, come on, man. Did, you, did y'all remember at the beginning when Morgiana, who is a, a, a young, young family, didn't even get any training? The thing she do climbing up walls and crap. Y'all realize what these people are capable of? And then we see in this chapter what these people are. Otaka. Standing ovation. We talking shape-shifting. We talking another species type stuff. Yo, man. So, Mu Alexis, he comes and he's like, I mean, the first couple, the first couple pages was talk that was, eh, it, it, you know, it didn't amount to anything. Then he's talking about, you know, I, you know, well, Mojiana asked, well, why didn't you tell me back when I, when Mountain don't stop, because apparently, you know, I forgot about this, but Mojiana, you know, she talked about wanting to go, but she didn't go over to the Great Rift because of Yunan's warning. And Moo's like, you know, pretty much it wasn't appropriate, blah, 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 blah. But I'm telling you now, I got to talk to, uh, I talked to Cohen and all that jazz, blah, blah, blah. And, well, one of the things before he actually said that, the important stuff, important. He's like, yo, what we already know. He says, there's a problem with Green. Now that Shahrazad is dead, there's a potential we might get swallowed up by either the Seven Seas Alliance or the Cohen Empire. Okay? Same thing with Mono Stop. We're, we're just pawns of power now. Big pawns, well, I wouldn't say pawns, but they're more like bishops, okay? More like bishops, and bishops and knights. And the fact is, they're just, they're just in neutral zones. And it's a potential, and what he fears is a world war. There's something on the lights that nobody's ever seen. Boy, this summer's gonna be crazy, dog. This gonna be on that one piece level crazy, to say the least. That summit, man, I don't know what's about to happen. But Mu Alexis, with that foreshadow, with that warning, what he fears. But he also, you know, was saying that that was beautiful. Then he talked about going in the fence. Now, Yunin, he, about the same age of um, Morjana, Yunin had warned him not to go over to the other side. He like, you won't be able to be the same. Bro, don't go over there. Mu in anyway. And... It took him, he nearly died. Like, he was dying. And then he found his body feeling different. Magoy. Now, he, here's the thing. Some people say, oh, but, uh, you know, Otaka talking about how, you know, Fatalist couldn't, uh, have Magoy on it. 
the true nature of the Thanos, full of Magor. We talk, I don't know if we're talking on the level of Magi status. I don't know. I, that might be too OP. That might be too hacks. But we're talking about full of Magor. We're talking about these wolf-like humanoid creatures. Like, yo, when I saw that, I'm like, let's go. Oh, y'all don't even know, man. What the man? That's what I'm talking about. This is why this is my second favorite manga after One Piece. This is why I love this. Yo, these dudes. So the question that's still lingering, even from a couple days that lingered through when I saw that, what's up with the rift, man? What is seven? Why are the fans like this? Why, you know, what is containing them in this humanoid? And why do they have to change? Something's up. We need to know more about that great rift. Union, you need to start talking. Union, that's why Union's my dog, the enigma. You need to talk. And Union comes in and saves Mu. Because Mu wouldn't have been able. And he wanted to stay, but now he don't want to stay. But, yeah, I'll get to that in a second. But Union comes and pulls him out. The fuck? Like, with his, with his, the fuck? With his magic, he comes... Cause my channel's PG, PG-13, anyways. So, Moo comes, I mean, Yuni comes in and pulling without Moo. And Moo's like, there are things I still must do on the side. And he talks to Morjana, of course Morjana, we already knew. We've been known. You know, she's like, yo, you know, reiterating that I have two heroes here, things to do. The thing about it, man, Morjana, her, her constant act of surprise, like, come on, man. Like, the character development was lacking very much in Morjana. I'm not going to lie, throughout this chapter. But, you know, which was annoying to me a bit, but it is what it is. She needs a bit more character development along the way. Like, we already knew this. Come on, we, you know. I'm not expecting much, but we already knew. It was reiterating, so we didn't need all that. And her surprise was annoying. It was to me, anyway, annoying. But anyways, then we get... Because this chapter was relatively simple. A lot of big, important stuff, but simple, nonetheless. The second part... Alibaba's talking to Ko Kogyoku, and he's explaining stuff, and then, now, now mind you, as, as a pre-condition to understand, well, back, back story, whatever, there are plenty of people who've been talking in YouTube anime and manga community about how Sinbad, his sound thing was controlled, and it seemed like Kogyoku has been tampered with, like, her mind, mind control. <laughs> what do we have in this episode? They started freaking out, and I knew it. I'm like, mm-hmm, yeah, Sinbad, yo, started, her eyes started dazing, like, she was uber stone, like, out of mind and stuff, and he's like, start talking, I'm not kill Goku, continue to talking, this is Sinbad, then that chapter ends with, this is Sinbad, Sinbad, once again, what would have, A, myself and other reviews been saying, this dude shady as can be, remember, he's the dude that has both, like, some yin and yang action, so freaking half good, half you know, half a light white rope or light rope, whatever, and half dark slash black rope. This dude, man, this Sinbad, and the fact of what Moo's saying, it confirms once again what I've been knowing about Sinbad. This dude is not to be trusted. I don't know what the hell Alibaba's about to like it's about to go off. If Cohen finds out, oh war might be declared before summit. Is the summit even gonna go down? And where where's Aladdin, yo? What, what's Aladdin and Union doing? Are they about to head over to uh, Baba? So, yo, this arc, once again, this arc just continues to step up to the next level. So, overall, this was a 9.5 out of 10. An amazing chapter of Magi. The only, I mean, we, we had plot progression. I mean, this was a huge rele revelation. Okay, the plot progression wasn't that huge. But for story, overall story, this was huge. This famous thing. Huge. Huge. Man. Like, yo, are we gonna get a, eventually? Maybe Aladdin goes over to uh, yo, wait, wait, first of all, what and I'm still wondering what caused the Great Rift is Aladdin gonna go over? Like, can other people go over to the Great Rift? There's so much I want to know. Has Sinbad been over there? Oh man, they, so many questions, so many questions. This answers some things, but even more questions have uh, uh, been coming come from and how did people get the fanalists like so many questions how did they get them to be slay like i don't even know man. i don't even know oh and Mu alexis has the blood of the first dude the first um the first king with shaharazade and shaharazade shared a lot with Mu and, and oh man this was just greatness the only thing that that 
you know, let this stop from being imperfect was the annoyance I had with Doggo Morgiana. She needs character development. She needs better characterization now. You know, we had some, but she needs more. She needs a push. And, uh, because, well, we already know. She can't be this simple. I like, Morgiana's one of my favorite characters in this series. So, for this, you know, and but doggone, we had characterization and character role with Moo Alexis. Gotta love Moo. I love anything famous. Those are my dudes. Okay, that's my clan. <laughs> Screw the Uchi Uchiha clan. I know shots fire, whatever. It's the famous clan. Screw the Uchiha. Famous clan. All day, every day. That's what I rep now. That's my clan. The Uchiha. <laughs> For real. Fanalist clan all day, every day. Alright, y'all. Till next time. Peace.